Hey everyone, welcome back and today you're diving into one of LocoDB's most versatile features, the grid view. Grid view is the default view type for all the tables in NoCodeDB that allows you to display your data in a spreadsheet-like interface using rows and columns. In this video, we'll explore all the features, actions and operations that you can perform in NoCodeDB's grid view. Let's get started. Here I have a sales CRM database setup with multiple tables. Let's start by selecting the customers table. As you can see, all the data is neatly displayed in a spreadsheet-like interface using rows and columns. And this makes it incredibly easy to see all the information at a glance, organize your data and manage it efficiently. You can add new fields using this plus button with the field type of your choice. You can choose from various text-based types, numeric types, formula types, or you can create links and much more. Additionally, you can add a new field before or after an existing field using these options. To add new records, you have the option to either enter data directly in the grid view or through a form layout, making data entry easy and convenient. This right here is the toolbar, which offers you various operations like filtering, sorting. Let's take a look. Using the fields button, you can easily reorder the fields using the drag and drop functionality. You can choose to hide some fields or show them back again. And by default, all the system related fields are concealed, but you have the option to enable them using the Show System Fields button. And here we have the Created At, Updated At, the Date and Time, but let's hide the system fields for now. And next, let's create a new grid view to list out all the active leads from this list. Create View, let's name it Active Leads. Now let's add a new filter where status is lead. Now we have a list of active leads. Next, let's group these records based on their industry. As you can see, all the active leads are now categorized into groups of different industries. Next, let's go back to our default view to check out the next toolbar operation, that is sorting. Sorting allows you to sort your records in ascending or descending order of any field that you choose. Let's choose name and sort the records in descending order of names. You can also adjust the record height to medium, tall, extra to present a greater amount of content within each cell. NoCodeDB also offers a quick search feature that allows you to search for records by field. Let's search for some country. And there you go. To display and edit records using a form layout, we have the option to expand these records using the expand icon in the index column. Just click on it and you have the expanded record. We also have a shortcut for this. Just select any record that you want to expand and click spacebar. Now in this expanded view, you can edit the data or add new data. Let's link some records. The fields hidden in the grid will be hidden by default in the expanded record as well. And this can be loaded by using the show hidden field button. You can also add some comments and you can easily navigate to the previous and next records using this arrow button. You can also copy the record URL to share record form to authorize users. And you also have options like reload, duplicate record and delete record. 
NokuDB also offers a bulk update feature that allows you to update multiple records at once. This feature is particularly valuable when the records you want to update are scattered across your table. For instance, let's say that all these people I'm selecting have now been converted from leads to customers. So let's just select these people, right click on them and update selected records. Now you can add all columns to edit, but let's just remove all. You can drag and drop fields here to edit or just click on them. But I just want to edit the status, so remove the ones that I don't want. Mm, and update status from lead to customer. Bulk update and confirm. Now all the people that I selected have now been converted to customer. This feature allows you to efficiently manage large data sets and ensures that your data stays up to date with minimal effort. NoCoDB also offers a pagination bar for easy navigation. Using these arrows down here in the footbar, you can navigate between pages of records. You can also change the number of records being displayed per page. Like here right now, I have 40 records. So let's change this to 50 records per page. And now I can easily view all my records in just one page. And finally, you can choose to download this data in a CSV or Excel sheet format using this option. This makes it easy to export and share your data. And with that, we have covered all the major actions that you can perform with NoCodeVS Grid View. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.